Hi, welcome back to the channel on the college process. Once again, I'm Ed from Principia Prep, and today we're gonna to be going over, is your student's college campus safe and how to know if it is or not? But before we begin, if you are new to the channel and are looking for additional college content, please subscription button down below. It will notify you when new videos do come out. As well as if you do enjoy today's video, please leave us a like, it does help the channel. As well as, once again, for the 21-22 senior class this academic year, we are still running the James Russell Memorial Scholarship. If you want to be eligible for that or know how, how it works out, basically all you need to do down in the description is the link to watch the video to explain how the scholarship works. As well as also down below in the description is our organization's Venmo as well as our Bias Coffee if you want to help support the channel allowing us to make these videos for you guys out there. And all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Is your student's college campus safe and how to know if it is or not? Now with all the craziness basically happening in the world, as a parent, many of us are on high alert, trying to do everything we can to keep our kids safe essentially. This of course does also spill over into the college process. So with that in mind, how do we figure out, how do we know if the college we're sending our students off to or the colleges or students are considering or looking to add their college list how do we know if they're safe and what things can we do as parents to basically keep a peace of mind also for students watching to know to figure out how safe the campus is where you guys are going well it's pretty simple to be honest with you start off with reviewing the college's annual gene clury act data now the gene clury disclosure of campus security and policy and campus crime statistics act also known as the clury act requires that all universities public and private colleges out there disclose any crimes that have occurred either on campus or near campus. This act, by the way, applies to every single college out there that receives any kind of federal funding, which includes any type of financial aid assistance whatsoever from the U.S. Department of Education. Now, to access this information, it's very simple. Here's the link, by the way, you can go to. I'll also have it down below in the description. You just need to go to the Campus Safety and Security website. And let me walk you through the steps of actually finding your school's information, by the way. As you can see here, we're on the website, the Campus Safety and Security website. What you need to do is you go down to where it says, get data for one school. So you can basically do this one school at a time just to make it easy. We'll click on that. And then what will happen is it's going to bring us to the next page. It's going to ask us essentially, where is the school located? And what I'll just do is I'll type in a familiar school. I'll type in Fairfield University. I'll click on Fairfield University here, and then I'll click on the continue bot. And then after I do that, what will pop up is here, you'll see that Fairfield University's information pops up. I'll, pop, I'll click on the first tab here, Fairfield University here. As you can see here, I'm clicking on that. I'll press the continue button. And then what you'll notice here, it's going to give me a bunch of information. As I go down, it's going to give me information about the security team at that university, where it's located, as well as if I go down a little bit further, it's going to give me all the statistics on all the different crimes that have happened either in the university or around the university. So everything up here you guys can see. As you can see here, it shows on campus. If you go down a little bit further, on campus housing facilities where, where things have happened, as well as if I go a little bit further down, it will show stuff that's happening nearby basically. So essentially around the campus, let's call it. Now obviously this is very helpful to know basically what's happening around the campus from a security point of view. But there's also other things you want to know about, not just what's happened in the past, what's happening presently, and what you can do in the future when your student's there to make sure they're safe. Now when you're doing the college tours at the college, you want to make sure as you're doing these tours, you want to stop by the security desk. You want to stop by the security office and ask them questions as well. Such as what are your security measures here on campus? What do you have available for the students to make sure that they're safe here on campus? Now, many colleges have security boxes located throughout their campus. You want to make sure with the security department, where are these boxes located? Make sure your student knows where these boxes are located. How do they work? Where does the line go to? Who are they calling when they pick up these security boxes, etc.? Also, many of these colleges have 24-hour security escort services where they basically can walk you from class or to your car from one side of the campus to another side of the campus. You're going from different locations for different classes. And if maybe late at night or you don't feel safe during the day, whatever it may be, a lot of these colleges have these things where you can ask the security department to basically walk the student, or the student can do this obviously, walk them to different classes or from class to their car so they feel safe as they're going through the whole college process. And in addition to those, and pretty much every college now has an emergency communication system, basically where you give them your information, your cell phone number, and your email, and if anything is happening on campus, anything dangerous, anything that, you know, that pops up that no one first saw happening, what will happen is all the alerts come out. And I tell parents all the time, if they have one of these things where they can text you or email you make sure that you have your email your cell phone number as a parent as well as your student and their email and cell phone number on the system just in case anything happens that they know what's going on immediately there's no delay here you want to make sure to do these things with the security department to feel safe to feel comfortable knowing what's there what's available on the campus where are the security boxes can we have escorts going from class to class or to your to your car after class is done as well as the communications 
Do they have my cell phone? Do they have my email? If there's any emergency that pops up, I'll be notified immediately. These are things you want to make sure to get done before your student sets foot on campus. And of course, you want to find out from the security department there, the security force there, do they work with local law enforcement? Are they a member of the International Association of Campus Law Enforcement Administrators? This basically shows that the school has a big, strong commitment towards making sure that their students are safe on campus. So you want to know. Who are you aligned with as far as local authorities? Do you guys have everyone in place just in case something happens here on campus? Those are the things you want to do basically presently in the moment while you're there doing the college tours or, or visiting the college yourself, to be honest with you, is getting these peace of mind information in the back of your mind, knowing how safe this school has happened in the past. Presently, what things are on campus to make sure our student is safe. And also, while you're doing these tours and everything else, another thing you want to make sure to do is ask the students on the tour. Not just your tour guide, but students you see walking around. Do you feel safe here at night walking from class to class, or from your class to your dorm room, or from your dorm room to go get some food at the cafeteria, or to go out on campus? Once you leave the campus setting itself, once you go a block or two to get a coffee or something, do you feel safe walking on your own? Do you feel safe driving your car around the, the environment, the area here? The students will be the most truthful of this entire process. So if they don't feel safe for any reasons, they're going to tell you everything that's going on, by the way. Okay. Now, another thing you want to do is, as you're doing these tours and everything else, you want to want to figure things out as you're walking around. As I were going into the dorm room, as we're doing a tour, how easy is it to get in? Do you need a key? Do you need a, a punch code? Once you get in, is there anyone there waiting, looking to see who's coming in? What do the windows look like? Does everything look secure? Does it look new? As you're walking through the hallways, as you're walking up the stairs, in the stairways, are the lights very dim or are they very bright? Do I feel like this would be a scary situation to be in or do I feel like there's no threat here whatsoever? As a parent, you're going to know these things. Your student might not because they're so inundated watching and looking at everything else, which I understand this is them moving into the next phase of their life. But as parents, you have to focus in on and as long as the inside of the campus is safe and the outside is safe and we have measures in place, then you should be good to go. And all of that being said, thank you once again for watching today's video. If you do have any comments, any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I do answer all the questions you guys leave, by the way, down below in the comment section. As well as if you do enjoy today's video, please leave us a like. It does help the channel. And of course, we are running once again the James Russo Memorial Scholarship for the 21-22 academic year. If you want to be eligible for that or know how it works, very simple. In the description down below, I have the link for the, the video here to show you guys how the scholarship works for this year's senior class of 21-22. As well as we also have in the description down below our organization's Venmo as well as our Bias Coffee. If you guys want to help support the channel here, allowing us to keep making these college videos for you guys out there. And all that being said, on the screen is now my contact information. If you need help with any part of the process, whether it be admissions, financial aid, or anything whatsoever in the college process at all, just shoot me a call or a text or even an email on the screen is all my information. I do help out families on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the entire process. So if you need help, just feel free to reach out. Once again, text message is the fastest way to reach me, by the way. And other than that, thank you for watching today's video. Once again, I'm Ed from Principia Prep.